Greetings, Neo2 Guru here. And here's how to beat Honda T without getting hit. And with your washboard abs in his general area too. What we will do is apply the swing and a myth technique. Keep running around him until he attempts to hit you. If you are sprinting, he will always miss, leaving him open for a world of pain. I've chosen the sword for my weapon of death. Combined with the high stance, it will bring both his bars down nicely and swiftly. You can move in after any of his attacks have missed, so just circle him and take advantage of his ineptness. Keep an eye on his stamina bar. If it is low, keep him pressured, and you may, just may, trap him in a final blow attack loop for a few times like I did here. He's also open to a free attack when he summons his guardian spirit to do the lightning attack. So get in there while you can. After you've took away a lot of his health, he'll cheat by trying to heal himself. You can't stop him, but you can limit how much health he regains by slicing and dicing him while he's in the animation of healing. The cheat. Always manage your own key wisely as well, of course. Key is key, just like in any boss battle. He's got a couple of burst attacks which you can stay away from if you so choose. But the rewards are strong if you counter them. The burst attack where he slams his weapon downwards is easy to counter. Perform it when you see the light on his weapon start to move down. Subscribe for more Neo 2 boss guides and tips. And click the video at the end to watch my failed disciple Frothgar try and conquer the game himself. He's an idiot so he probably won't follow my guides. But you will, won't you? As usual, everything the Guru does look, makes, it, it looks, makes it look easy, but it's totally stupid as usual as tactic. I think I'm going to use my tactic, which is to summon people. The ghoul faces, they come through the wall and instant mode. I don't want to follow his guide, I'm just going to call for his help. 